A week ago, I ordered a lot of slime, and today we're gonna have the most epic unboxing of slime, and then we're gonna go through every single one. So I've been seeing this Peachy Baby brand all over YouTube, but I actually first heard about them through none other than Kim Kardashian. Ooh, I would love that. When she did a story about it, saying it's the best slime she's ever had. So whatever Kim Kardashian says, we try. <laughs> okay, so I'm unboxing a lot of them, and so far they all all look really good but we're gonna go through one by one and see what they are it even comes with these little squishy toys a bracelet and best of all a lot of slime and activator so I've been watching their channel a lot and they have all sorts of different crazy textures that got me so curious and all of their slime actually resembles food like this magic boba or mango sticky rice that looks good enough to eat from what I see here they come in all different types of textures and there's even like extra ones right here that go with different slimes this one is a souffle pancake so let's start off with some pancakes <gasps> whoa right off the bat this seems kind of sticky the texture is silky smooth but I'm a little bit afraid of taking it out because I feel like it's gonna be so sticky oh my gosh somehow on their videos everything just looks so satisfying and perfect but as i'm playing with this maybe it needs to just like breathe a little bit like it definitely is a little bit more sticky so i guess it's where this activator pen it's a sticky fix spray goes into play i don't really know how much to put in there did that help oh yeah that helped i just don't know how much to put in maybe i added too much no it's still pretty sticky but it's like a soft silky slime texture and then you're supposed to be able to add the syrup right on top of it i don't like how sticky this is and then you have this jelly texture with fruit charms in there that's so cute the texture of this slime is a lot better and it looks like maple syrup Look, there's even a little blueberry popping on top. And I have to tell you guys about the smell. It honestly smells like warm maple syrup mixed with vanilla pancakes. What if I just give this a small lick? Don't do that. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. And it says all over, don't eat the slime. Next, we have this froggy cubes with jelly cube slime. And when I look at it on the box, it kind of looks like, you know those like lychee jelly cups that you eat? And this is what it looks like inside. It has these like jelly cubes that honestly look like food. And there's like some charms mixed in, but it all fell to the bottom. Based on the photo of how they shot it, everything looks so voluptuous and it looked more like this. You definitely think you're getting a lot more. I thought the charms and everything were gonna be like domed, but I guess how would they close it? But everything just kind of sunk to the bottom, so that kind of sucks. The texture of this slime is what I'm used to with like the Elmer's glue. Why is this so satisfying? The ASMR the texture oh my gosh i love this one and it also smells it reminds me of shampoo mixed with really strong body wash it's a very like perfumey scent i'm gonna give this one eight out of ten and this one right here i forgot to rate it but i'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten their slime tends to be on the sticky side i'm not gonna lie but it's satisfying nonetheless now i had an idea maybe once we're done going through all of these how about we do a little mixing all the slime sequence yeah next up we have what they call the cloud slime, and this is blueberry cow. This one comes with a little cow charm inside and a blueberry and some sprinkles. I also have this little slime in the box. I'm guessing it goes with this because it kind of reminds me of blueberry milk nails. The texture of this one isn't like this slime where it's nice and stretchy. I feel like this one breaks a little more. So I would say the slime is a little inconsistent. Like I feel like it might've been overactivated because as you can see like it just breaks off so i don't know if this was meant to be extra to go on top like the beautiful picture of the slime here but let's take the rest of it out see what cloud slime looks like okay oh it's kind of wet at the bottom but it's very stretchy oh my 
gosh, oh my gosh, this texture. It looks like pretty snowflakes falling from the sky and what I imagine angel hair to look like. Oh wow, it's like a web of snow, cotton candy fluff all in one that's stretchy and just so beautiful and satisfying. Is this what a cloud would feel like if you stretched it? Oh my gosh, let's mix it all together though and see what you get. Oh, I'm just amazed by how stretchy this is. Like when you first grab it out, it doesn't seem like it would stretch and be like this awesome. It's almost like cotton strands. I cannot get over this. This is so cool. How did they do this? Oh my gosh. This is amazing. And the smell, it's like blueberry mixed with a little bit of laundry detergent. That's what I'm getting. But I don't really care because it's so cool. The texture is amazing. I could play with this all day, literally. Let's see if you mush it all up. And it's cool that you have the sprinkles in there and the cow right here because it gives it extra texture. But once you mush it up, you kind of do lose a little bit of the stringiness. But no, it does come back to life, which is so cool. Oh my gosh. Let's see if this is supposed to be mixed together. So I added the blue slime in there. Okay, you end up losing the cloudiness, which is no good, because that's like the best part of this. I mean, I'm gonna have to rate this nine and a half out of 10. This was really cool. All right, this next one is celebrating the season because it's pumpkin cow. How come everything is like a cow base? We have blueberry cow, pumpkin cow. This is not like a cloud slime. This one looks a lot stiffer. Actually, I feel like the slime is kind of hard here. It's like dried up. Maybe they didn't close the lid all the way, but you get a mixture of that awesome cloud slime here with the orange. And then you get like a little bit harder of a slime that kind of breaks. This one's kind of tough, but I think if we mash it all together, it'll give us the right consistency. We also have a little pumpkin charm and cow charm in here. I guess we'll just mix it up. This one honestly was not as satisfying as a blueberry cow one. I'm sad to say the stretchiness of the cloud is not as good because it's mixed with the white slime. That feels honestly a little hard. The smell reminds me of a pumpkin candle. You do get pumpkin in here. It does smell very pumpkin-y. Smells very good. But considering how the other blueberry cow slime was so good, and this kind of just breaks when I stretch it, I'm gonna give this one six out of 10. Who should we get next? Ooh, this, I believe they call it the Bingsu slime. It's supposed to be filled with a ton of like crackly beads. I'm excited for this to be ASMRific. This is orange creamsicle and it has two little orange charms, some sprinkles. Oh. Already incredible. Oh. Wow. This one is incredible. You get a little bit of the cloud slime in there, which is also my favorite texture. And I would have to say this Bingsu is pretty up there as well with the satisfaction. And the fact that it smells like my favorite citrusy orange creamsicle smell, I think this is inching its way to the top. This one is just so good. Let's see, the slime does kind of break. It's not as stretchy. I tend to like my slime a really stretchy. Like, let's see how far we can get slime to go. But the satisfaction level is pretty up there. Just with this crunching noise. Oh, I can see my stress just flying away. I'm gonna have to give this one nine and a half out of 10. Okay, okay, what's next? Okay, I'm gonna grab one of these ones that come with the charms on top. We have a magic boba kit. I wonder why certain ones they decide to put the charms inside and like this one, they put the charms outside. I would have actually preferred that each one came with it outside so I can mix it in for maximum level of satisfaction. Cause this part is so fun. And you even have like little boba beads that run away. Five seconds rule. This slime is kind of like the jelly slime. I guess similar to, ooh, this one's really sticky actually. Wow, look at that color. Whoa, it's like galactic. Super galactic. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Definitely on the sticky side. 
but it also kind of breaks apart. But I love the stretch. I always see them do like this window test. Oh my gosh. This is the type of slime that I'm used to. All those other new slimes are so cool, but this is what I expect slime to look like. So this one's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. That slime feels a lot like this slime, the smooth slime. Okay, next up, I mean, they love naming things after food. This one is a blueberry milk tea. It also comes with these charms that has a bear, a little bunny, and a straw. Now I get to decorate my own slime. Ooh. This reminds me of soap, like sugar scrub. It's nice and crackly, but let's play with it after we decorate it. We have our boba straw. It's got a charm stuck in there. A little bear. I feel like to make it look like bears, I should have like lifted it up and make it all voluminous. That's what I was expecting it to look like. But this is pretty satisfying either way. All right, let's see what this one's about. This one is supposed to be like their fluffy cloud slime, which is definitely different in texture than the blueberry cow. This one feels like liquid styrofoam where the texture is just very crunchy. I would say it's in between the bingsu and the cloudy. It's almost like bath salt, honestly. It feels like bath salt. The smell with this one, Okay, they're both blueberry, but this smells more floral. Actually, now that you smell both of them, this one smells way more blueberry and this one smells like soap. Oh, after a while playing with this, the crackliness is actually so satisfying. My favorite is when they twist them and they all just fall into each other. I'm gonna give this one eight out of 10. Oh, that's what the bottle should look like. Okay, what's next? We still have a lot to go through. This is Gamer Fluff, which is also another fluffy cloud slime. It has this Game Boy and then some stars. It reminds me of cotton candy and it honestly smells like cotton candy. Ooh. Ah, this texture is nice. The cloud slime is so Good. All right, we already know how I feel about the cloud slime, but mixing all the colors together is even more satisfying. We're gonna give this nine out of 10. Mango sticky rice. I mean, why is everything named after food that I love? Ooh, we have some of that jelly from the froggy cubes mixed with, oh my favorite. I bet this would be so satisfying once you mix it all together. Whoa, ultra stretchy. Okay, so from all the combinations that we've tried, I feel like cloud slime with this regular jelly slime mixed with the chunky cubes makes for the best combination. And if we have to talk about the smell, I'm getting more peach than mango, but I'm also getting Bath and Body Works. You know that smell of the Bath and Body Works candles or even like when you walk into their store and it's like a waft of perfume? That's what this smells like. I don't know if I love that because it can give you a headache, but this is so squishy and feels so good on the hands that it just makes it so fun with the cubes in here all the different textures. But if they threw in some of the Bing Tzu, the little glitter cubes in here, that would have made it 10 out of 10. But I'm gonna give this nine and a half out of 10. We only got a few more to go through, but that kind of gave me an idea because what if we took a little bit of all the slime and mix them together? I wonder if that would make the perfect slime. So stay tuned till the end and see what we're gonna get if we mix all the slimes together. Okay, next up we have Lavender Dreams. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, I get so excited when I see textures, but I feel like maybe this is an overload of textures because we don't have that much slime in here. <laughs> this is what you get with Lavender Dreams. Mmm, yeah, it smells like soap. It smells like something I've already smelled before in one of these. And in fact, the smell is quite strong. This reminds me of phloam. And I think that's what it's called, phloam mixed with bingsu. The fact that this is not overly sticky, but just makes this crushing noise, like it's not not sticky, it's sticky, but 
it comes out and the sound is even crushier than the other ones. Makes it really good, but the smell is kind of gross. It's a hard rating. I'm gonna give this one eight out of 10. Texture would be so good if the smell weren't so bad. Don't love the smell of that. Don't love it. Don't love it. All right, who do we have next? Okay, we have jelly fruit candy. I feel like this is gonna be very similar to the souffle pancakes, except we add the charms. Ooh, yeah, I was right. It's like that. Oh, wait a minute. This is like marshmallow fluff. It's like a combination of cloud slime and this like regular normal texture slime, not the clear jelly slime. And then we have all of these charms. Let's see, it's jelly fruit candy. We have little fruit charms. We have little building charms. I don't really know what to call them. I'm gonna sprinkle them on top. Slime come such a long way with all the charms. And then add the cherry on top. All right, now let's see how it squishes. It's sticky, but not in a bad way where it sticks to everything. This is a pretty good slime. Feels pretty nice. And this smells not that bad either. It smells, I'm getting juicy fruit gum. It smells like gum, honestly. Wow. This one does the swirl. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. I know I'm usually pretty ruthless with my ratings, but like so far everything's been really good, so. Two more. We have froggy matcha. My two favorite colors, green and pink. Matcha green, to be exact. This is another cloud slime. You guys know I already love this stuff, so we don't have to go through it much, but because it's my two favorite colors and I love matcha, actually smells like matcha. Whoa, matcha strawberry? All right, well, this one. I might be biased because I love matcha. We might be giving out a 10 out of 10 because this belongs in the 10 out of 10 club. And if you guys wanna be in the 10 out of 10 club, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for some epic news. No crunchies, but the smell's good, the color's good, and cloud slime is just good. Okay, last one. This is a lava lamp. And you can DIY kit this with some charms. You have the space charm, the stars charms, and more stars charms. So this one is like the jelly slime, except they have like these intergalactic sparkles in there. It's so beautiful. Put the charms in and it's like space. Now, if you're wondering, what does a lava lamp smell like? Actually, it smells like nothing. There's actually a little scent, maybe a glue scent. A lava lamp smells like just plain old glue scent. I almost prefer their slime to not smell because some of them are just like way too perfumey. But I'm gonna give DIY lava lamp an eight out of 10. Now I do have to say, I only had to use the activator on one slime, so that's pretty good ratio. But let's go ahead and mix a little bit of all of our slimes together. And see what we get. This cloud slime. I'm seeing a lot of purple, so I'm guessing it's gonna turn out a little hint of like maybe brownish purple, probably leaning more towards brown, but it'll have the ultimate cool texture. You gotta get some jellies in there. The cloud foam mixed with the Fluffy cloud slime. It's gonna be epic. I would say out of all of these, you guys already know the cloud slime is like my favorite, followed by the Bingsu slime. Let's get some froggy cubes in there. Some blueberry cow milk. I'll grab some gamer fluff. And finally, our souffle pancake slime. All right, let's mix her all up. This is so cool. The way the colors are just mixing like ice cream sherbet. Oh, I originally thought that it would turn out more purple, but it definitely looks more unicorn. And you really get overpowered by the blueberry scent because that's all I smell. And then it's turning into some kind of just like weird fading brownish color, which is what I thought it would be. But the texture, is this the most perfect slime in the world? You know what? I'm gonna try one more thing and then it's gonna be the perfect slime. I noticed in their videos, they use liquid food coloring to dye their slime and that's what I'm gonna do to make a beautiful, hopefully a beautiful, <laughs> we'll see. I was going for pink in case you guys were wondering, but it turns out to be more of like a brownish purple, but the texture, 
Well, let me tell you. If only I could get more of the cloud texture in here, which I kind of do. Oh my gosh. Now, is this the most perfect slime? I mean, it comes pretty close to it. I gotta work on my color and formula a little bit more, but like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.